Turkey is celebrating its 100th birthday today. Events are taking place across the country to mark the anniversary of its founding. In the capital, Ankara, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan laid a wreath at the mausoleum dedicated to Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the country's founder who created a modern secular republic from the ruins of the Ottoman Empire in 1923. The centennial is also a personal milestone for Erdogan, who has been in power for more than 20 years. But challenges loom large as Turkey looks to the future. More from our correspondent Yulia Han in Istanbul. Turan Necdet Özcan is as old as the Turkish Republic. In fact, she is even a bit older. Turan was a little girl when modern Turkey was founded a century ago, and she still remembers that time fondly. I had a good childhood. My father was a doctor. We were doing well. I still remember that the only way to get from one side of Istanbul to the other was by ferry. There were no bridges yet. Those were built later. And then people started driving everywhere by car. Turan was four years old when the new nation was born, out of the ruins of the Ottoman Empire. On October 29, 1923, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, a military commander, declared Turkey a republic and became its first president. Atatürk, whose name means father of the Turks, set out to radically modernize the country. His vision, a secular Western-leaning state, proud and powerful at the junction of Orient and Occident. Atatürk's sweeping reforms included the separation of religion from state politics, a new alphabet, and allowing women to vote. We liked him very much because he brought all these reforms. We also had a clothing revolution. Everyone started to dress more European. He tried to make Turkey more modern and bring it closer to Europe. To this day, Atatürk is revered as a national hero in Turkey. His portrait adorns streets, shops, restaurants, banknotes and coins. The personality cult he enjoys is ever-present in this country of more than 80 million people. Much to the envy of the current head of state, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Since rising to power in 2002, Erdogan has proved himself to be the country's most influential leader since Atatürk, analysts say. So he has had this uninterrupted two decade uh, long uh, rule that I think allowed him to um, portray himself as the second founder of the Turkish Republic. Erdogan is seen by many as a skilled politician and an assertive actor on the international stage. He prides himself on the construction of vast infrastructure projects, including huge bridges, hospitals, mosques, giant airports, or the invention of high-tech drones. And he is using the centenary to shape his own legacy. We've largely overcome our country's deficits in every field, from transportation to defense, from industrial production to health, from education to youth. And we are now taking the next step into what we call Turkey's century. Political scientist Bak Essen sees things differently. Erdogan has severely undermined the country's democratic institutions, he says. Under Erdogan's watch, particularly over the last 10 years, Turkish politics has become uh, quite authoritarian, especially uh, following Turkey's transition to a presidential system uh, with very limited checks and balances in 2017, 2018. Uh, Turkish politics has really regressed um, uh, to a point where, whereby it's difficult to really talk about strong political institutions. It's difficult to really talk about a high level of state capacity, whereas everything really revolves around around one man. Erdogan's vision, Essen says, is very different from what state founder Atatürk had in mind 100 years ago. Erdogan's vision is a conservative uh, Turkey, 
um, one that uh, basically uh, enjoys uh, um, high level of influence within the former Ottoman uh, territories, particularly Middle East, a more Islamist uh, uh, Turkey, not necessarily an anti-Western Turkey, uh, but one that is non-Western. Strained relations with its Western allies are at the top of many challenges Turkey is currently facing under Erdogan. Its economy is in dire shape, with double-digit inflation, a depreciating currency and high youth unemployment. For some, this has dampened the mood for celebration. It pains me to say this, but we're moving backwards. Everything is getting more expensive. Our quality of life is decreasing. It makes me very sad to think like this about my own country. We need a more democratic, more inclusive, more progressive system. Our parliament needs to be more diverse and inclusive. We're so excited about this anniversary, I can't even put it into words. But we have to try harder. Turkey is still lagging behind for various reasons. We need to work harder to move forward. At her Istanbul home, Turan Necdet Özcan says she is also proud to see her country turn 100, despite the challenges ahead. She has four grandchildren and seven great-grandchildren. I tell them it's worth living through the bitter and the sweet. May God give them a good future. May they see even better days than I did. And she will keep sharing her memories, Turan says, as her country enters its second century.